Hi, so it's me. Uh, my hair is up again because um, I took a shower earlier and I prefer to put it up in this buff so that it's all like piled up and soft up here versus like putting a hair tie in, like putting in a bun of hair tie because that kind of smashes my curls. So um, I took a shower and I had actually a significant first time shower experience post-op. Um, I took, I think I mentioned before, I had like a painter's bench in my bathtub because the Goodwills were all closed and so I couldn't get like a shower bench. So I just used a painter's bench. Um, I took it out of the shower for the first time today in three weeks, which was, uh, I was a little nervous about. So I took that out and I was like, I'm going to shave my legs today. I haven't shaved in three weeks. Um, so as you can imagine, they were a bit hairy. So we get in the shower and, um, I'm like, all right, how am I going to do this? And so I squat down. Um, and then I realize that I can't use my arms to like lower myself backwards. So pretty much because it, it puts too much um, pressure on my muscles. And so then I was like, well, what am I going to do? Like I can fall on my butt, but I don't want to hurt my tailbone. I don't want to hurt my butt. I don't want to jar my midsection. So, so, and then what would happen? What would happen if I couldn't get back up because I was flat on my butt? I'm gonna yell for my 16 year old who always has on noise canceling headphones and be and ask her to come like pull my ass out of the shower. I weigh more than her by like 35 pounds. So she would do it and, and she would do the best job she could getting me out of the shower. But um, so instead <laughs> I shaved my legs while squatting. Um, and if any of you guys grew up roller skating and I did because I'm a child of the eighties, um, there's this position called shooting the duck where, um, basically you squat and you like, I'm doing it and you can't see me cause all you can see is my upper body, my head, shoulders. Um, you squat and you like take one leg and you put it out in front of you. And so that was what I did to shave my legs. I squatted, I put one leg at a time, carefully balanced, put my leg back, did the other leg. Um, I attempted to shave my, uh, genitalia, which much harder to do in a squatting position than I would have ever imagined. And so I kind of like did a half ass job. Like I got my labia. I did not really get my mons. Um, one, because I didn't want to use shaving cream because I don't want to get shaving cream in my incision. Um, and I didn't want to block my vision of seeing that incision because can you imagine if I had nicked that thing with a freaking five blade razor? Oh my God. Um, I just didn't want to risk it. So I was like, you know what? Good enough. Like nobody's seeing these things except for me. Um, so whatever. I just want to see if I could. I want to see what the process would be like. Um, and obviously squatting doing it is not the best plan on earth. Uh, sitting in the bathtub is a way better method. And of course, when I can use shaving cream, all that stuff, I'll try it again. Um, so after my squatting position, I just stood up, right? Apparently I have way better core strength than I ever knew. And my legs are pretty strong. And so, um, I just stood up, but wasn't what I would, what I did not plan for is that my abdominal muscles are so sore. Like they're so tender. They may be the sorest they've been since I had surgery at this point. Like I took some Tylenol earlier and I was just like, Oh my God. Like, I feel like I've been doing sit ups and I, I have it right. I guess I, squatting sort of, but, um, they're pretty darn sore and tender. So anyway, the point of this video, um, besides telling you about my shower victory, we're going to do a little bit of trying on of some clothing. Um, I brought some stuff in my bedroom. My abs hurt, like I said, so let's take my hair down. So, um, so I may not be able to like try on a lot of clothes. I might have to take like a small break here because of how my abs feel, but I just, I want to see how my clothes fit. I want to see how some clothes fit now that didn't really fit me, um, pre-surgery and we're going to see how this works out. So, um, if I can figure out how to edit on my pixel book, I will try to speed this video up at this point so that you guys are not watching a painstakingly slow process unless you really want to. Um, and, um, so this is actually my third video today. My first video took like four hours to post basically. Um, my second video, it was too big for my phone. It was like six gigs. So my phone split in two videos, which means I have to go to my pixel book and I have to splice it together. Um, so anyway, I'll post that one as well. Um, that one, I kind of got emotional. Ow. 
and I talked about my consultations and stuff like that. So abs are really sore. Okay, without further ado, my head's gonna disappear. You're pretty much gonna see my torso unless I can work out the angle. I cannot wait to get that rig to put this bad boy on a tripod so you can actually see all of me at the same time. Um, and I'll just go ahead and stand up and show y'all. I am currently wearing, um, this is a surgical bra. This is what I came home from um, surgery in. Like, I know it looks like my nipples are hard, but they're not. My areolas were removed and sewn back on. Um, at least I don't think my nipples are hard. I don't know. I can feel them now, but this is the surgical garment, the compression garment I came home in. As you can see, this is the hole that the surgeon cut to get out that drain. Um, and I'm wearing some pre-surgery underwear. Uh, I've been eating today, so a little bit, so I'm bloated per usual, which is what always happens after I eat food. All right, without further ado, we're trying some jeans. Um, these are some Lucky Brand size 4 slash 27. These are some boot cuts. These are one of my favorite pairs of jeans. They're very, very flattering. Um, so we're going to see how they fit. And I may not, oh God, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I may not, oh shit, <laughs> may not, uh, may not be able to get these on because of the tightness, but obviously I don't want to do anything to hurt my incision. Ooh, ooh, okay, that was quite the, oh shit, um, okay, so they will button, but I'm not going to force them to button, uh, because obviously I have an incision and I'm bloated, but they will, so... Um, that's about what they look like. I'm actually sort of surprised by that, but, oh, okay. Um, and my, my belly is super hugely bloated. That was something I was observing today. I think it's stuck on my calves, a huge calf. Um, that's something I was observing today is that like here, Woo! y'all almost saw my labia. It took off my underwear. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh yeah, almost, almost, Jesus. Whew. All right, I'm actually gonna have to watch this video to make sure that I'm not exposing my freaking labia. Okay, back to my story. Um, oh, Jesus, up here, up here is soft, um, but down here is still like super rock hard and, and, and bloated and swollen, so. All right, so the other jeans I was gonna try on, these are ones that, um, these are a Forever 21 size 28. Um, these were my daughters and she lost like 20, 25 pounds. And so I took them and they fit me really well, but they are super effing tight. And so based on those luckies, I'm, ouch, I'm not going to try to squeeze into these. I don't want to hurt myself. All right. So here's some Morona shorts. They're size six. Um, these fit really well before surgery. Um, you know, I, not super tight, but always my belly was pudging out in them. So wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. I can wiggle them over my butt. No problem. Oh God. These are like loose in the waist. If I could, apparently I forgot how to button clothing because I've spent so, really? I've spent so long not having to do it. There we go. So these have a lot of looseness in them in my waist, which was never the case before. Um, they were always pretty snug because of how loose and flabby I was. Man, these may have to go. So that's cool. I'm excited about that. And the backs, let's see. Oh, let's see if I can show you this. I'm going to stand on a stool. Uh, you can see my compression garment out the bottom of them. So that may not work out so well for me. All right. Okay, losing my underwear again. You know, maybe these were not the best choice of undies. My goodness gracious. Yeah, that's the danger of having an open crotch garment is that um, my labia can pop at the bottom. And I'm just gonna put these back in the drawer they belong in as I go. My pant, my jeans have to be hung up. Okay, these are also a Marona size six, but the problem with these is that they were like really tight. I think they're like more structured than the other ones. I can't get them over my ass. Um, so like I could get them on, but I couldn't get them buttoned. So these aren't even gonna go over my ass right now. So those may end up in the giveaway unless we see how much less swollen I am as time goes by, 
which hopefully will be a whole lot less swollen. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, we have this super cute pink polka dot pencil style skirt. Um, it's a medium, it's Grace Karen. I got it off of Amazon, I'm sure for dirt cheap. And this skirt fit me pre-surgery. It's not even unzipped all the way. The bottom of the zipper is here. So um, this skirt fit me pre-surgery. I love polka dots, by the way. But the problem was I had this big old soft flabby belly. And so with that big old soft flabby belly meant that this was all pooching and protruding, um, which was less than ideal in my opinion. So, oh gosh, this easily just went on. So I can't do the hook and eye on the back. I'm gonna leave that. Um, so, man, this may end up being too loose in my waist. Interesting the difference in how clothes are fitting right now. So, now I'm too tall. But this bow, part of like what I liked about this bow is that it concealed my belly. But, all right. Oh. Ooh, I'm like, how much more do I have to try on? I'm probably going to die here in a minute. My dogs want to leave my bedroom. They think I'm nuts. So, go ahead, puppers. Next up is this oh, super adorable skirt. Um, this zipped pre-surgery, but it was definitely super tight in my waist. I would have to pull it up higher so that it would fit and not squish the bejesus out of my gut. Um, and then it was really hard to find shirts to wear with it because I couldn't just whew, tuck in a white shirt because I had fat above it. I'm not gonna be able to get this done. As you can see, this hook and eye is not quite coming together. Um, and my stomach is not feeling great, so I'm not gonna force that. Hopefully, when the swelling goes down though, this girl fit because ugh, I just love it. It's so cute. All right, this, I had two dresses. I'm not gonna make it through two dresses. I'm gonna make it through this one, maybe. Oh, this has a side zip. Side zips traditionally don't work for me. I have this huge rib cage. Mm. So we're gonna see if I can pull it up. If not, I don't wanna put it over my head. We're gonna see if it'll fit over my hips. So I really love this dress. I ordered it off of Amazon. The problem with it was I had no boobs. And so basically what would happen is I would put this thing on and it was like bored flat, like no titties whatsoever. Absolutely freaking ridiculous looking. Um, and it was terrible. So, yep, this is, this is a lot of work y'all. All right. I'm not going to tie it all the way. So, um, this Looks pretty darn cute. As you can see, now I have boobs, so it's not completely bored flat. I am super excited that this dress fits as well as it does. So this is gonna be a perfect summer dress as soon as I can not wear the surgical bra or the regular black sports bras that I tend to wear. Man, this dress is gonna be cute. I'm super excited about this one. Okay, that's like all I can manage. That's, damn it, I lost my underwear again. Fuck, 13 and a half minutes. Uh, skipped a couple things, but so I'm excited. That's like a sort of try on video. Some things fit, some things don't, whatever. Good to go. Thanks for watching.